A murder investigation comes to a bizarre end downriver. A gentleman approached him and uh, told him, I need you to arrest me. I just killed my girlfriend. And Police said that man approached an officer in Taylor and told him, as you heard, he had killed his girlfriend. Good to have you with us here at 5. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. That shooting happened at the Telwick Motel right near the intersection of Telegraph and Wick Roads. Rod Maloney is live on this story. Rod, as we said, police say he just openly confessed right there. And that is helpful certainly for the case in terms of prosecution, but the man had a 40 caliber handgun that they say he used on his girlfriend, a very loud weapon, and yet nobody heard that call or called it in to police. And so they say, were it not for this confession, they may still be looking for that woman. A gas station security camera rolls as the man pulls up to the BP station at Goddard and Telegraph. A black Jeep Liberty parks and he gets out apparently in search of a police officer. Taylor police tell me that the 42 year old man was staying here at the Telwick Hourly Hotel here on Telegraph, left in a panic in his girlfriend's car. He then came out, flipped around and went southbound on Telegraph for about a mile where he found the officer at the Goddard BP. Taylor Police Lieutenant Frank Canning telling Local 4. Then the gentleman approached him and uh, told him, I need you to arrest me. I just killed my girlfriend and uh, I think he was a little bit surprised by that statement. It prompted this radio call to dispatch brought to us by Broadcastify. GPS telegraph and wake. I got someone here saying that he just shot someone. They say the man had been living in room 112 at the Teltwick for the past several days and invited his old girlfriend to come visit him here. The 38-year-old woman showed up yesterday afternoon. Police believe the man took off in his girlfriend's Jeep, leaving his own vehicle behind as a way to get away more quickly and then rethought it all. After their gas station encounter, the state trooper immediately brought the man to Taylor PD. He brought him here. Uh, our One of our detectives immediately called him upstairs and they, and they had a conversation and, and he uh, admitted to um, having a, a disagreement with his uh, longtime on again off again girlfriend, uh, which then resulted uh, in, in gunfire. Now we've yet to get an ID on the man or the woman, but we do know that they have been living together uh, on and off previously in East Point, Roseville and Sterling Heights. Back to you. So, so Rod, what about a court appearance for the man police arrested? Well, the, the police department right now is in the process of putting together its package to send to the prosecutor. They believe perhaps as early as tomorrow afternoon or Friday we could see an arraignment. We'll be following it. Okay, Rod, thank you.